hello everyone in today's lecture we will discuss about kinematic analysis of mechanisms using analytical methods uh, in uh, this lecture we will uh, derive some equations for kinematic analysis of slider crank mechanism so here is my slider crank mechanism where r is the length of the crank l is the length of connecting rod theta is the instantaneous displacement of crank from idc O is the crankshaft, C is the crank pin, P is the piston and phi is the displacement of the connecting rod when the displacement of crank is theta. Now first we will derive the expression for piston displacement. Now for piston displacement let us suppose that when the crank has turned through an angle of theta from IDC, piston has moved by distance of XP from top dead center. That is, when the crank has moved through angle of theta from IDC, corresponding displacement of piston from TDC is XP. Now XP is equals to OP dash minus OP. Now we know that OP dash is equals to L plus R. When the crank pin is at IDC, connecting rod L and crank R will lie on a single straight line. And when the crank pin is at IDC, piston P will be at TDC. So total distance OP dash becomes equals to L plus R minus OP. Now this length is L cos of phi and this is R cos of theta. So OP is nothing but R cos of theta plus L cos of phi. So, XP is equals to R1 minus cos of theta plus L1 minus cos of phi. We get this after expanding this equation. Now, theta is known which is the input angle crank angle. Phi is unknown. So, we will we'll eliminate phi from this equation using the relation of sine of phi equals to sine theta upon n. This is very important relation. This is obtained from this triangle. PCM is a right angle triangle where CM is equals to or say sine of phi equals to CM upon L cos of phi and from this right angle triangle CMO sine of theta equals to CM upon this is L hypotenuse is L and CM upon R so CM is equals to sine of phi into L from this equation and from this equation CM equals to sine theta into R Equating these two, we get sine of phi equals to sine theta upon n, where n equals to obliquity ratio, which is equals to L divided by R, length of connecting rod divided by length of crank. Now, using this equation, we will substitute cos of phi is equals to un uh, under root of 1 minus sine square phi, and we will get the final equation for piston displacement, that is xp is equals to R 1 minus cos of theta plus n minus root of n square minus sine square theta. This is equation number 1 using which you can determine displacement of piston xp. Now next velocity of piston. Piston velocity 
when we differentiate equation number one with respect to time, we will get the velocity of piston. So piston velocity equals to time derivative of its displacement. So when we differentiate this equation with respect to time, we get velocity of piston is equals to r omega sine of theta plus sine 2 theta upon 2 times n. This is equation number 2 using which you can determine velocity of piston which is equals to r omega sine theta plus sine 2 theta upon n. Now number 3 acceleration of piston. The velocity of piston is r omega sin theta plus sin 2 theta upon twice n. So time derivative of velocity will give the acceleration. So velocity of piston is r omega sin of theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n. So acceleration of piston is time derivative of velocity which is equals to d by dt r omega sin theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n. Now in this equation r is constant so we will take r outside. So fp equals to r using product rule of differentiation omega d by dt time derivative of sin theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n plus now second term is constant sin theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n and d omega by dt time derivative of second term omega. Now doing this we get r omega derivative of sin theta is cos of theta. So cos of theta and derivative of theta is omega plus 1 upon twice n sin twice theta its derivative is cos twice theta and derivative of twice theta is 2 into omega plus sin theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n rate of change of angular velocity is angular acceleration alpha. So fp is equals to r this comes outside omega square cos of theta plus cos twice theta upon n plus r into alpha sin theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n. This is equation number 3 which will give the acceleration of piston. So fp equals to r omega square cos theta plus cos twice theta upon n plus r into alpha sin theta plus sin twice theta upon twice n is the acceleration of piston. Now when the crank speed is constant alpha is 0 and so this term will get con uh, cancelled when the crank rotates with uniform speed. Now this is the displacement xp is the displacement of piston vp is the velocity of piston and fp is the acceleration of piston now connecting rod number 4 so sine of phi equals to sine theta upon n we will make use of this equation to determine angular velocity of connecting rod which is the time derivative of angular displacement of connecting rod that is phi so differentiating the both the sides with respect to time d by dt sine of phi equals to 1 upon n d by dt sine of theta. So derivative of sine of phi is cos of phi. So cos of phi time derivative of phi is equals to 1 upon n cos of theta and derivative of theta. So cos of phi d phi by dt is angular velocity of connecting rod Pc is equals to 1 upon n cos of theta d theta by dt is the rate of change of angular displacement of crank. 
where theta is the displacement of prime which is equals to angular velocity of prime therefore omega pc is equals to cos theta upon cos of phi omega upon n now in this equation we have one unknown that is phi because we know omega we know n n is constant omega is the input speed theta is the uh, displacement of crank input link which is known phi is unknown so we will eliminate phi using this equation sine of phi equals to sine theta upon n therefore cos of phi equals to under root of 1 minus sine square theta upon n square so we'll substitute this value for cos of phi in this equation to get omega pc after doing this we get omega pc angular velocity of crank is equals to omega cos of theta upon n so this is equation number four which will give you angular velocity of connecting rod this is displacement of piston velocity of piston acceleration of piston and angular velocity of connecting rod now last equation is for angular acceleration of connecting rod which will be obtained by differentiating this equation with respect to time so we differentiate this equation with respect to time now we have omega pc is equals to omega upon n cos of theta so alpha pc angular acceleration is time derivative of the angular velocity of connecting rod which is equals to 1 upon n because n is obligate ratio which is constant omega into cos of theta will apply the product rule so time derivative of omega into cos of theta this is equals to 1 upon n omega constant d by dt time derivative of cos of theta plus cos of theta common time derivative of omega this is equals to 1 upon n omega cos theta derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta and derivative of theta is omega plus cos of theta time derivative of omega is angular acceleration d omega by dt is alpha angular acceleration of crank so this is equals to minus omega square sine of theta upon n plus alpha upon n cos of theta so this is equation number five which gives you the angular acceleration of connecting rod alpha pc this completes the kinematic analysis of slider crank mechanism this equation is important relation between angular displacement of crank and connecting rod n equals to l by r sin of phi equals to sin theta by n remember this equation velocity of piston r omega sin theta plus sin 2 theta upon twice n after derivating this uh, differentiating this with respect to time we get acceleration equation r omega square cos theta plus cos twice theta upon n plus r alpha sin of theta plus sin twice theta upon n if angular speed of crank is constant second term will get cancelled because alpha will become zero number four angular velocity of connecting rod is omega pc omega cos theta upon n and this is equation number five angular acceleration of connecting rod alpha pc is equals to minus omega square sine theta upon n plus alpha upon n cos of theta this is equation number five so this completes the kinematic analysis of single sided crank chain using analytical method thank you